nearly 500 years ago, way before the Philippines was discovered by Western civilization in the year 1521. The tribe of Cebu, later known as Cebu, was already a bustling city on its own. It was the center of trade where merchants from all over Southeast Asia converged to trade their goods, fabrics, pearls, native produce, and gold were traded within the busy and progressive region that was Sugbu. The Cebuanos, the native Cebuanos, were already deeply rooted in their faith. The historical record showed that they practiced an animistic faith, believing that nature's spirits dwell within objects. They built altars for their anitos and offered sacrifices to them, believing that the spirits would bless them for their offerings. Come 1521, the Portuguese explorer Fernando Magalhães, commonly known as Ferdinand Magellan, was sanctioned with the King of Spain to set out and explore the New World. Sailing west from Spain, they set out to discover new lands for the glory of the Kingdom of Spain. Fate has it that in March 15, 1521, they land in Philippine Islands. And on the fateful day of April 7, 1521, Magellan's fleet arrived on Cebu and claimed the lands for Spain and for the whole of the Christian world. On the 14th of April, 1521, a gathering of about 800 Zebuado natives embraced the Christian faith, led by Dato Mabon, baptized Carlos, and his wife, baptized Juana. The Zebuanos became the first Christians of the Philippine Islands. On that same fateful day, the image of the Santo Nino was given to Queen Juana as a baptismal gift, as she requested that she have them instead of her wooden anitos. And thus, Queen Juana of Cebu became the precursor to the strong devotion to the Santo Nino of Cebu. Fast forward nearly 500 years later, the same love and devotion to the Santo Nino has bloomed from a single native queen's affection for the child Jesus to the massive and powerful fate of the Filipino. Today, what was once a monumental baptism has now become a celebration of the gift of fate in the Far East 
what was once known as the trading port of Sugbu, has now been known as Cebu, the cradle of Christianity in the Far East.